All right, first, uh, shout out to my UK audience. Hello, everyone in the United Kingdom. Hello, hello. Uh, I call it UK. Uh, anybody out there on, uh, who I've interacted with on Twitter? To the one guy, I forgot your name, but thank you for correcting me about uh, Kelsey Grammer versus uh, Paramount, not NBC. I think NBC would have said something if Paramount didn't. You know, NBC, CBS, ABC, uh, Paramount, uh, what is it? Universal or Disney, they would have all said something. You can't you can't vote for who you want. But anyway, let's go on to a you know similar corporate news. Yep, Hasbro McFarland Toys. Now, when I saw this earlier, uh the first article that published it then said that the page doesn't exist. So I got suspicious. I waited a moment, and then I look around and I looked on Bing.com and it was all over the other websites. So I don't know what they did. I don't know if they put a hit piece on this or what, but this is true. Uh, McFarland Toys and Hasbro are working together. Now let's get to the dark part of this. Now they're laying off, what, a thousand people in the U.S. Um, they want to get AI. Um, I can almost applaud this if I was the devil himself. Um, I can understand from a corporate point of view. Now, from my from my childhood, I remember Play School. Play School was the original founder of Mr. Potato Head. Kenner Toys, which made the DC Comics stuff, the animated series, licensed out. And Milton Bradley, which made the original board games, uh, licensed out Pokemon. Now Hasbro owns all three. Do you think owning all three companies has cost Hasbro their dignity? Or do you think, you know, did they need to acquire all these things? Hasbro has acquired a lot of things. Um, who owned D&D? &D? Does anybody know? So D&D, &D, uh, whatever company that was, Play School, Kenner, and uh, Milton Bradley. Now Hasbro. Now Hasbro's in trouble. Uh, these are page punchers. So they're like, they're like these little figurines. And if we can get that in focus, please. McFarland Toys has announced the, these page punchers. Exciting multi-brand license agreement. Transformers, Power Rangers. How does that work? Because, again, they don't have control. They can't. Uh, they have separate licensing agreements for Disney with Star Wars and Marvel. But I think there's some sort of international sort of red tape they can afford here with Power Rangers. G.I. Joe. So G.I. Joe, Transformers, Power Rangers. I think there's a back door to this kind of thing. So these are page, so it's like a comic book, right? Imagine a, a comic book size. Uh, I don't like this one I have here. Snap my fingers and it shall come to me. Magic time. See, that's the comic book right there. So imagine a comic book like this, and then you have a character. So you have like a little figure. I mean, that's what the page punchers are, okay? Little figure that fits in your hand, and it's right next to the comic book. So that's essentially what you're getting here. So back to the article. So yeah, you will not be getting Disney's uh, start. No Disney properties, but everything else. Um, let's see. It's an exciting program. For us because it, it gets comic books into people's hands. So this is all kind of a spiel here. Um, what I think is that it, it's going to be sad that a lot of people lost their jobs. I think some people knew it was coming. They knew that day was coming. Some people got out. Applaud to you all that got out early. Good on you. Maybe you can work at um, one of the toy companies. You can work for Lego. Lego. Lego never cheapens out. You know, I guess they can make have AI make the damn bricks. But they want AI to make the toys. Uh, there's still a Diceling from the D&D &D that I have not been able to get a hold of. It's supposed to come out in April. I'm, I'm really pissed. But I have every other Diceling, the one that transforms from a 20 die to a creature. And I like those ones. But I haven't found much else. And what else is there? Um, yeah, McFarland Toys is probably the best thing you could have right now. <coughs> my My history with that is that so I collected some of the Spawn toys from 1993. This is from the first uh, series from 19... Not, not the reprinted series, but... Or, or remastered series, but this is from 1993. I have Future Spawn. I have um, different characters, actually. Different different guys, different characters. And uh, I preserved them all. I think I have Bad Rock, which is a big character. 
Now that Bulgy, I was a giant creature. Like, like he had a 15-inch wingspan. He would just like just take over like the package, just crammed it in there. And I always like I was trying to make up a Batman figure that was designed the style of the crossover from Spawn and Batman in '96, and I never got to finish it. I was making it out of clay, <clears throat> and unfortunately, I couldn't do it. But, um. Lost my train of thought here. Yeah, Todd, since since the last you know five years, I, I guess, um, he's been working with DC Comics. He has worked with Disney. So he has made some like, what is it? Those like a dark versions of the Disney characters. And I'm sure he could do wonders with Star Wars and Marvel. I mean, McFarlane's not an idiot. Look, look how far he's gotten. Remember we thought, Okay, how many more Spawn figures he's going to make? He made sports figures. So, if I'm happy for anyone right now, it's Todd McFarlane. Uh, Hasbro will have to figure themselves out. If they don't sort themselves out, um, they're, they're going to be bought out. <laughs> Who will buy them out? McFarlane? Maybe McFarlane. McFarlane, everything is McFarlane board games and toys. There you go. Praise. Hasbro is dead. Long live, long live the Todd toys. Anybody remembers that? Todd toys. You remember what I'm talking about.